Because when I was gathering everybody's album covers, and I compared Ace Wonder and Hannibal's list, trying to put everything in order, uh-huh. y'all both picked one album that was the same. And it was Juvenile's 400 Degrees. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Love the album. So, uh, Ace Wonder, Hannibal, go. Tell, tell me about it. Man, when this album came out, like to like I, like it's 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 almost hard to put into words. Like being from New Orleans, Juvenile releasing this album locally first, right? Yeah. It was the biggest album in the city, right? How I was playing all it was like three four songs playing on the radio at the same time, and the song and the album was fucking huge. Every song was just a fucking just bet. Every song was a joint you could just put on in the club and girls just start throwing that ass back. But there was one song in particular that really, really made them bust it wide open. Okay, yep. if you was a real you people, they was busting it open for yep. you. And that song was back that ass up. So yep. drop one of Clue's bombs for back that ass up. Yes. Oh my God, this album is so it's so incredible. It's such a, such a good. Pro- so then back that ass up comes out, and it's the biggest song in 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 New Orleans. We are listening to this shit. 10 times a day, every day. Girls that I ain't never seen dance before has got their hands on knees and they throwing it back, wobbling in a circle. I was like, oh, man, this I know God is real and my God is a good God because look at that ass move. Jesus Christ, this is so good, right? Yeah. Then as the out after the, as the song started to like bubble down, right? It was like, okay, it started to run its course. It's been big in the city for like four or five months, right? The album's been out six seven, eight months. The album is finally starting to die down. Then it came out nationally. And then it was just big all in the city all over again. So then yeah. we had us a good two back to back summers of girls throwing it back and it was just a good time. It was just a great Thank time. Thank you, Juvenile. Had Thank by you. All. Thank that was you, the big deal for me was the fact that this I think this was the first local New Orleans record that mm. got respect like yeah. out on the East Coast. Yeah. Which some people might not care about that, but I was kind of an East Coast hip hop head already. Mm-hmm. So it was really nice to have an album from home that I could play without yeah. having to fight for my life. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, back in the day, Ace and I was those guys in New Orleans that was riding around listening to Nas and Wu Tang and Eminem and Cannabis, and DMX, and shit like that. And so we would get a little bit of side eye from people like, "Man, why you not listening to No Limit? Why you not listening to Cash Money? Why you listening to No Bounce?" Shit? Because we listen to all the fucking time. Okay, that's all the fuck we listen to is No Limit, Cash Money, Bounce music. No Limit, Cash Money, Bounce music. No yeah. Limit, Cash Money. Bounce music, like you just you know what they're gonna play all the fucking time, and we just we just wanted something different, just something diverse. It's like how Monty eats Arby's all the fucking time. It's like, hey man, sometimes I want other shit to eat. Okay, can I can I try Wendy's today? That's all I'm saying. I just want to try something yeah. different. You like that Arby's when you came here though, right? I had your Arby's ready for you, right? Not at all, man. I got the worst case of bubble guts I ever had in my life, bro. Wow. Okay, I took 17 shits in two days. It was yeah. terrible. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I had to go to the hospital. All right? <laughs> you know, and I had to use your old harsh ass toilet tissue that was hung the wrong way. Okay, <laughs> according I to the to polls, my ass right was zinc after eating that Arby's. Okay, because <laughs> oh. you don't got a bidet, Monty. That's the issue. Okay, you got an iPhone, but you don't got a bidet. So how civilized <laughs> are you? That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, uh, now, this album cover is ass. Okay, <laughs> speaking of bidets. Say, say, right? not, not only is this album cover ass, I actually hate all the album covers like this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I, I, I know it's a New Orleans thing, and, and you know that might get me banged on at home, but I've never been a fan of none of these album covers. I, I hate all that pen and pixel. Like, every cover that they made, I hate them all. I, I do. I don't like a single one of them. And this one is just, you know, like, you got juvenile standing over the city, 400 degrees, whole city is on fire, but then you got like God coming out the sky, and oh wait, it's juvenile. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he is God and also the devil. Is this hell? I don't exactly know what's going on here. I don't like it. Yeah. Not, not, zero stars on Yelp would not recommend. Yeah. I'm I'm with you on this being trash, but for different reasons, like all your reasons I agree with. 
Like again, I agree with Hannibal. Everything you said, I agree with. But the, there's, I, I, I look at it, the design of it again. Who is whose cousin did this? Because fire him and hire a natural graphic designer. The the name juvenile at the top. Let's start with that. First off, hard to read, and it has no room to breathe up there. It's just it's wedged into the top as tight as you can get it up there. And it's got this weird curve. <laughs> they they had the baby oil, that shit up in there, bro. Yeah, yeah. What's the point of the yellow around it? And and if you are going to put effects on photographs, people, you can't just say, oh, fuck the quality of the photo. I'm putting effects on it. Use high quality photography. Because I can tell that was a shit ass picture of Juvenile that you thought would just pass because you put some fucking fire effects on it. Stop it. Stop mm-hmm. it. And, and, and then everything is morphed in. I don't know if you found a picture of the apocalypse that was low res, <laughs> whatever the fuck that is behind it, and you just fucking brushed out all the shit and put his face on it, and then you put a white dot behind the, the horrible photography of juvenile underlit. What are you doing? Right. And then you just threw some fire in and then got lazy at the end and said, oh, it's called 400 Degrees? You just put it at a curve, didn't do anything to make it readable. Fuck readability. Mm-hmm. It's just on there. And then you throw on who's featured on it. What does that say? I don't fucking know. It's in white letters or yellow. What? <laughs> and come on now. You know, baby, you know baby don't believe in reading. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, that's that's about as close as we got to a what's eat Monty all year. I like that. That was good. I, I like I felt I felt the hate flowing through you yeah. just now. That was nice. I yeah. felt that. I, that was dope. Yeah. All that being said, 400 degrees is great. Yeah, this this album, uh, just for uh, context, this is Juvenile's best-selling solo uh, album of his career. It sold six million copies. It sold four million copies uh, from November third to December from November third, nineteen ninety-eight to December nineteenth, two thousand. So in the span of just about two years, they had sold four million copies of this project. And that's what they sold of the album, not the songs or the singles. I don't even know what Back That Ass Up did. This album is uh, was quadruple platinum in two years. It is now six times platinum. This is easily the most successful album that Juvenile has put out as a solo artist. Uh, this album is phenomenal. I think it does a great job of encapsulating uh, of it encapsulating <laughs> of uh, uh it does a great job of telling the story of New Orleans and giving you a very clear and honest vision of what the city it uh, sounds like looks like like he, they did a, a very good job Manny Fresh producing the tracks yep. uh Juvenile's bars the production the writing the the features the way everything came together like this album, yeah, this this is definitely a, a southern hip hop classic. I don't like, I don't know if the world would recognize it as such. Um, but yeah, this album is fantastic. So it makes that uh, that terrible album art uh, really, really stand out because yeah. it's like, man, it's such a good project with such awful album art. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize Ace Ace wanted to also pick the same one. Yeah, always I think, start I think with this good might be the first album I ever heard that had the same song on it three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hines what, what, on that album three times. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, right, the right, remix, right, and then the Jay Z remix. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely honestly, right. the worst thing on the album might be Jay Z on the Hoppy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is tough. And I love this album, but man, this album art is trash. Like, yeah, shoot, shoot the man that did this. Shoot the you people that did this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was, it's, it was, funny thing is, it was a white dude who did this art. Oh man, okay. It was okay. white you people did this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do and that. They, and they pay and they paid him a ton of money to do it too. Damn, white, white you people. Would that make him yeah. uh can can we say wicked still? Is that no illegal? nope nope is is you people. Uh okay, white you people. Yeah, white you people. Okay, yep, all yep. right. He's white you That's people. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. But, like, if come it, on, if it, man. It, like and again, again. Use good photography, people. Please, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. please don't 
don't just snap a picture and think I'm gonna put some effects on it. It's gonna be good. It's not. It's not. It's not. Mm -mm, there is not nothing you can do with a bad picture to make it print ready. Nothing. Nothing you can do. Nothing. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.